Hey, Bugsy, we're late. We didn't get this episode of Cafe Devo up in time. <laughs> what are we going to do? You know what? We could blame the heat. It's been really hot. Let's blame the No, we can't blame the heat. But, you know, we live in Durand, and everybody knows that trains come through, and that makes a lot of things late. And so let's blame the tra- No, we can't blame the trains. I know. Let's blame you. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be fair either. It was me. I screwed up. Sorry, everybody. Today's episode of Cafe Devo is coming right up. On all sides, from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo for August 1st, 2024. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. <laughs> You know my pal Bugsy. No, we're not going to blame him. <laughs> I hope your Thursday is going well. Once again today, we turn to our old friend Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum, and today's devotion is entitled Three Realms of Success. For insight on worldly success, you could comb through hundreds of books on the subject. Let me save you some time by offering you advice on finding God's perspective. This passage was written by the Apostle Peter, who learned firsthand from the master life planner how to find true success. Accept the authority of the elders. And all of you, dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. That's 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5 through 7. And so Peter offered three simple principles for finding success God's way. First, submit yourself to those who are wise. Listen to their counsel. Be open to their reproof. Accept their suggestions and follow their model. I can count on one hand the times I've regretted seeking someone's opinion on something I was struggling to manage, but I've lost track on, of the times I've stubbornly gone my own way and lived to regret it. Second, humble yourself under God's mighty hand. In the Old Testament, God's hand symbolized his discipline and his deliverance. When we humble ourselves under his hand, wanting him to grant us his kind of success in his time and in his way, we willingly accept his discipline as being for our good and for his glory. We gratefully acknowledge his provision for our need regardless of the timing or the outcome. We back off and let God be God. Third, throw yourself on the mercy and care of God. Anxieties will come. Troubles and disappointments happen in this life. Fears and worry will build up, sometimes leaving you weary and depressed. So what should you do? Throw them back on the Lord cast your burdens, your cares, your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Instead of spending all those hours pushing and promoting, try God's way of success. He may just grant you some time for yourself, plus a few extra hours <laughs> to go fishing. Father, we thank you for this Thursday. We thank you for your love and your grace, for your guidance. Help us to trust you more, Father. Help us to lean on you when we are overwhelmed. Help us to follow your ways. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. Better late than never, eh? I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood, signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. 
I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>